Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've got a couple of great scrap buster projects for you and that's making these little hair scrunchies, I always call them twisty ties too, and then a sunglass case. Now you can make it as a little set or give it individually. Now this is a child size sunglass case and I bought these really cute little sunglasses at Walmart. So for a little girl, you could buy some cute little sunglasses, put it inside, and then make a little matching hair scrunchie and give it as a little set. This is real easy. These are very quick to make. So let's get started. Here's how you draw the pattern. This is really easy. All you need to do is first draw an eight and a half inch square and then up in this corner just round it a little bit. Over here go down three inches and put a little mark and go over this way at three inches and put a mark and then draw a line connecting the dots. Now for an adult, this is the adult size, if you want to make one for a child I would cut it about seven and a half inch square and repeat the steps. Before you place your pattern on top of your fabric, decide if you're going to make it for a left-handed or right-handed person. I'm left-handed, so I would leave this side up. But if you are right-handed, flip it over and have this side up. You will need one square of cotton batting that's eight and a half inches and then two squares of cotton fabric, uh, one for the lining and then one for the outside. Layer them as I've just placed them. So first put the cotton batting down first, then your lining fabric and it's front side up, and then here is your fabric for the outside. It is front side down. So the two pieces of fabric are front sides together or pretty sides together. Place your template over your fabric and I like using these little weights to kind of hold it in place and I, I drew mine onto cardboard. And then go ahead and cut your pattern out. Place pins all around the edges and leave a three inch opening right here. On each side of the opening you will be back stitching. This opening is used to turn it front side out. So make sure you reinforce the seam on each side of the opening. Then stitch a quarter inch seam all around. When you come to a definite corner like this, stop when you get a quarter of an inch away and leave your needle in the down position through your fabric. Then lift your presser foot rotate your fabric and continue stitching all the way around. Whenever you stitch around the curve, just stitch a little bit slower and here's a curve here and remember back stitch on each side of the opening. At the two bottom corners you need to trim some of the fabric off. So I like to go across it at an angle like this and you want to leave about an eighth of an inch of fabric I also recommend you trim a little bit off at the side of the corner and then again on this other side of the corner. And you're going to do that at both of your bottom corners. At the two top corners where it's curved, you want to go in and just do little slits and make sure you don't cut through your stitch line, but you're just clipping up to the stitch line and then also do a few around this smaller curved edge. Reach in between your two layers of fabric and begin turning it front side out. I like to reach inside and just push against the edges, the curved edges, as well as the corners and push them out. And again, I also like to push against these curved edges to get the fabric to lay really nice.
Once you've got all of your edges smoothed, then turn your opening edges in a quarter of an inch. And then at your ironing board, press all of this flat and your edges. To keep the opening in place while you stitch, make sure you put pins to hold it. And then you're gonna stitch around all of the edges. Stitch real close to the edge all the way around. Then fold it front sides together. Place pins along these two sides right here. And then stitch from about here where it just starts to curve a little bit or stops curving. And stitch all the way down to this corner and then across here. And I would back stitch several times because this is a stress area because this is where you're gonna be inserting your glasses in. To make the hair scrunchy, you will need a four and a half inch wide piece of fabric and anywhere from 18 to 20 inch long piece going this way. Your elastic will need to be anywhere between eight and nine inches long. Have the back side of your fabric up and this next step you will do at your ironing board. Fold your edges over one quarter inch and press all along your two longest edges here. Then take your elastic and at the each end of your fabric piece, do a little tack stitch to hold the elastic in place and you're doing it on the back side of the fabric and then go to the other end and then do the same thing Put it right down there at the end in the middle. This is where you're placing it, right in the center, and do a little tack stitch. Your back side is still facing up and just leave your elastic going along the middle there. Now bring the back sides of your fabric together and I would place some pins along this edge. So from the end over here, sorry, right here from this end, go over about two and a half inches and place a pin. And continue pinning all the way down till you get to the other end. When you get down to the other end, place a pin two and a half inches from the other end here. So you're gonna be stitching close to the edge along here from this pin all the way down to the last pin over here. At each end, pull on the elastic and push all the fabric down towards the center. Bring the ends together. You're bringing the raw edges together. Make sure you have the ends all the way out here where you pressed it over a quarter of an inch. Make sure you open it up all the way out that way and here. And make sure you're bringing the front sides of the fabric together. Then stitch one quarter inch seam along here. Now open it up and fold these raw edge, edges under on both sides. Pin this opening closed, so place pins to hold it all along here and then stitch close to the edge to finish it up. And then you're all done. For more beginner projects, check below your YouTube screen for the video links. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thanks for watching and happy sewing! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. 
click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!